Hello everyone, welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's case is one we have not dealt with on this channel before. We have got a cow who's walking and standing with her legs crossed. Now I've seen this happen before, so I know exactly what's wrong with this cow, but you could see why this farmer would be concerned with the way she's standing. I've seen this happen several times before in my career, and almost always when you do, it's gonna be ulcers on both front feet. Sometimes white line uh, lesions, they'll do this as well, but it's almost always ulcers. And in this case, for sure on this first foot, we've got an ulcer. I've been asked several times when I'm working on lesions like this why I work in circles, why I cut in circles. And the reason is, especially with a case like this, the uh, loose horn is going to radiate outward in, some, in a somewhat of a circular pattern away from that lesion site. So I, I always know that if I work from the ulcer area out and slowly pull, um, it will cut away just the right amounts. So I'm not going to end up cutting too deeply. If I cut flat, I have to remove way too much uh, horn that I don't necessarily need to. And where I cut in circles, I can work out from the center, take what I need and thin those margins out uh, just the way I want. I've sped up some of this knife work just because I know it can be tedious to watch this for minutes on end, but know that I'm always working uh, carefully and I'm going slow, trying not to, you know, uh, hit any tissue underneath. I don't want to be hasty in this process, otherwise I'm gonna end up causing more damage than I intended to do. So I'm, I'm taking my time, but the footage is going fast. I apologize for the blurriness on this shot. I'm trying to give you different angles so you can get a better look at what these lesions look like, but unfortunately GoPros are not good for close-up shots. You can see it's trying to focus on things in the background, so it's not very clear. This rubber block is really the saving grace in a case like this. It's not necessarily that that ulcer is terribly bad and needs a block, but what this will do is, is the reason that cow is crossing her legs is to take the weight off of that inside claw. So now with this rubber block, she won't have to do that anymore. As I'm spraying this down, I should probably explain a little better why she's crossing her legs in the first place. Typically on a cow, the majority of the weight on the front feet is carried on those inside two claws. But because in this cow, she's got problems on those inside two, she crosses her legs and now the outside two claws become the inside two claws to bear the weight. Pretty strange, but she's figured this out on her own. Now let's swing around to that other front foot and see if she's got the same problem on that side. If you notice right off, the other foot's in position, but this foot here, she's still trying to cross. Let's take a look at it. And sure enough, we've got the same issue.
Once again, I apologize for the blurriness. I've got some uh, work to do with my camera skills here yet. It's going to be the same situation here. I'm going to prep this foot, get a block on it, and we'll send her on our way and see how she walks. And she's off. No more walking cross-legged. Perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.